How you doing? Stick around. This one's for the Blade Baits. Roll that intro. Woo! So I had someone come in the other day and say, Rick, you know, your Blade Baits, they have all these different holes on them. Which one do I put the hook on? Let's get you guys a contrasting color so you can see it. Okay, how's that? See all the holes there? There's four holes in any of our eight colors of our blade baits. You can fish a blade bait in several different ways. You can cast these from the shore or boat and reel it in almost like a crankbait. Or you can vertical fish these and this is where these really have a huge strength. What I mean by vertical fishing is if you throw a blade bait off the side or you're vertical jigging straight down off the side of a wall, maybe at a spillway or off the side of your boat in some deeper water, let it drop to your desired depth. And what you're going to want to do is let this kind of sink down and then rip it up. And when I mean rip, it's a pretty good cadence. You're, you're kind of putting some force into it. So what happens in, when this is in the water is it kind of wiggles down. And when you go up, it goes kind of flutters up, if that makes sense. Back to the hole. If you guys are vertical fishing and you're going to go for a more vertical presentation where you're dropping and lifting and kind of vertical jigging a blade bait, go with the holes that are closer towards the front of the bait. What that's going to do is keep it more of a horizontal nature and less tippy so that as it's horizontal, it's catching the water as it should and give you more of that fluttering action. Now, if you want to cast it and you can go with some of the holes towards the rear of the bait, as you can see right there. What happens when you put your line to the rear of the bait or towards the holes towards the back of the bait is it adds more angle to the bait so it tips it kind of head heavy so that when you're casting that out now the water is catching it as it's coming horizontal and giving that flutter action that you're looking for that aggressive wobble on a blade bait so if you want more of an extreme angle when you're casting go for the one all the way on the tail and if you want more of a vertical wobble where you're jigging it and you want more of the, the extreme vertical jigging action go for the one all the way to the head now there's two little holes in the middle too you can kind of adjust if you want a little bit uh, more kind of horizontal wobble go for the second hole try it out try it out and if as you're vertical jigging you want a little bit more of a head heavy motion and maybe a little less aggressive wobble go for the second hole from the tail now i like to tie these directly on the lead bait itself so i like to tie them right to the bait some guys like to use a snap ring and what that might do is keep it from hanging up sometimes depending if you're vertical jigging or not. Sometimes blade bait have a tendency to want to hang up on itself or catch the line if you're aggressively jigging it. So kind of a little tip, if you want to add a, a split ring, you can do that. It does take down from a little bit of that kind of control of the action, but it does rid the possibility of it or at least a little more of the possibility of it getting hung up on itself. Now, when would you fish a blade bait? We talked about casting for it. We talked about vertical jigging. What species are gonna hit a blade? Anything will hit a blade bait. I mean anything, but when we're targeting walleye, when we're targeting saw guy, when we're targeting saw gur, perch, anytime that we're kind of doing fall or colder water fishing on a species that likes to eat upwards, this is a great bait for that. So is it a trolling bait? Could you troll it? Maybe, but probably not. Nine times out of a 10, me personally, I'm using a crankbait that kind of gets down a little bit, have a little more control of the depth that way. The bill digging and the floating action of the bait kind of gives you more control on a crankbait versus just a straight up heavy blade bait, if that makes sense. So I hope that was helpful. Little 101 on the blade bait. If you have any questions or comments, please, ask those in the comment section below. Please smash that thumbs up, ring the bell. We appreciate you. Have a wonderful day. Woo!